Hi, my name is Jens, one of the creative producers for UME. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Ottoman for our A Conversation Piece lounge chair. But first, take a look at the content. So, first step is to make sure that the surface is nice and clean and also to perhaps add uh, something soft to uh, kind of make sure that your product doesn't get scuffed or get any scratches while in the process of assembling your product. So uh, next we're gonna start off with um, number one, number two and number three uh, in the manual, which is uh, basically the legs and then of course uh, the uh, shell that connects to the legs. Then I'll also bring the screws and, of course, the hex key. So try your best to, uh, to line it up. It's important to note that um, these legs go that way. And then try to uh, put in the screws. So if you start by just adding one screw here, and then try to match that up with uh, the curving or the carving of um, the inside here of the leg assembly of number one. You can kind of turn it together with your, uh, with your hand and your fingers. So now it's kind of like loose, but it functions as a guide so you can match up the remaining holes. Take the tool, turn it a bit in just to tighten it a bit, because now we know that it will uh, center with the two remaining holes, here and here. Take two more screws and add to the last two holes. Start by turning them with your fingers until it reaches a point where you cannot get a grip and then continue with the hex key. All right, that was leg part number one, attached to part number three. Okay, next step. So now we will continue. So basically same procedure. You have uh, part number two here. This is uh, the front legs. Again, note that uh, the angle of the legs goes the right way. So we want them to, to stick out, right? So basically that means that when you look at the product, you would have it like this, or oh, sorry, like this. The chair would be up here, and then the legs needs to be like that, right? So it also would match opposite with the, the back side of the legs, part number one. So flip it, and same procedure. So we'll start with the one screw. And remember when you flip it, of course, uh, maybe you can get it mix, mixed in your head. Um, but yeah, try to line up uh, the holes here and uh, just attach the first screw loosely to uh, the leg assembly. Okay, so now it's loosely attached here. And again, we will try to guide the opposite hole to the next screw. Then again, using the hex screw, we'll just tighten up a bit, but not too much yet. Then the last two screws goes down in the last two holes. And again, tighten first with your fingers. And then when you reach a point where you need to use the tool, then you grab the tool and tighten all of the screws. So now we have a nice structure and we just need to add the clamps, the wooden clamps and of course the uh, pillow. 
So here I have the uh, wooden clamps. They're called uh, C in the manual. So this is straightforward. Um, basically what you do is that you uh, slide them in to the groove here, like so. And uh, just make sure that uh, they're all the way in because they need to work as a guideline for uh, the soft cushion. We have the cushion here. Nice, good soft cushion. So you'll notice that there's uh, similar groups here. And of course the shape. So uh, basically, what you need to do is look at these two points. And uh, when you position the cushion, try to look on one of the sides and then uh, see if uh, these two wooden components fit in here. Because then they will automatically slide when we push. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this slowly. And I'm looking here. It might take a few times to just hit the right spot. But you can kind of notice that when the shape fits on the sides here, then they're probably in. And now I can't look, so that's also a good sign. It means that the, the, the wooden uh, components does not lift up the cushion and thus are not in place. So this is straightforward. What we need to do now is to basically just push horizontally this way, which would be the front of the product in alignment with the, the chair. And that will uh, force the pillow grooves into these uh, wooden components, the wooden restrainers. All right, let's try to push. And there we go. So what we need to do now is to attach this uh, security screw, which is called B in the manual to the uh, back side of the product, which will um, yeah, go up into the pillow and uh, kind of restrain mm -hmm. the, whole, uh, the whole cushion to prevent it from sliding back when you use the product. So um, flip it and you'll notice there's a little hole here. And that's just a pre-drill that's uh, made for the screw. So you can either use a handheld uh, screwdriver manually or you can use uh, one of these ones. Make sure not to uh, put it too high in the setting and then simply just attach the screw. So last step is to add these uh, soft cushions for the feet. This is just a protective uh, soft pad that will prevent uh, your product from uh, scratching any surface it might be placed on. And there we go. You are done with the assembly. So I hope you will enjoy your new product and you can as always contact us on info at umay.com if you have any further questions regarding the assembly process.